Let's have some examples for hazard rate. The first example is a Vibul hazard rate. Um, the, suppose that uh, in different applications, uh, you may want to control your uh, hazard rate. For instance, in aeroplane, you don't want to have any hazard. Let's like say if this aircraft is designed for a maximum of 10 hour flight, um, okay, so you want a hazard rate to be as small as possible, so you want it to be small, close to zero. For instance, at the beginning is zero, and then it can go up and stays low. And then here, you don't care you if it goes up. So you don't want it to be big. You don't want to incident happen. But the problem is that if you try to lower the hazard rate, you have to pay more. You have to use the parts which are much more expensive. So this is why you say, oh, this is my limit and automatically it goes up. So for some application, you want to have a, a constant hazard rate for some other application. So this is a function which has two parameters. Uh, it starts at t equals 0, 0, and so on. So if b is equal to 1, so you have a, a constant hazard rate. If b is equal to 2, then you will have a line, okay? And if b is equal to 3, you have a second order polynomial. So, so if b is equal to 3 as opposed to 2 or 1, the, the, the system may be uh, much less expensive while providing more reliable and a more less hazard within the uh, time interval of interest. So this is why we want to have different flexible functions here to be able to control the shape of the hazard uh, uh, rate. <clears throat> So uh, using this expression, uh, we had this general formula that the PDF is equal to the hazard rate e to the power of negative integral of the hazard rate. So just I plug this one into this function and I get this one. Obviously, this is for x being positive and this is equal to zero for x being uh, as well. So this is called Weibull distribution and um, uh, it allows you to, to have two parameters as opposed to one parameter to control your hazard rate and reduce the cost of your manufacturing. So um, this Weibull density is also um, seen uh, in uh, um, uh, some radar or wireless communication systems.